All right, continuing with our big story here today, college campuses across the country are divided over the Israel-Hamas war. Leadership at Harvard in the hot seat now after failing to swiftly respond and denounce a letter posted by a student-run Harvard-Palestine Solidarity Group. The letter holding the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all unfolding violence. Many, including the former president of Harvard and former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers, criticizing university leadership for not denouncing the pro-Palestinian letter. Days later, the current president of Harvard did issue a statement condemning Hamas actions as abhorrent. So I want to bring back our panel here, Mike, Mick, John, and Peely. Uh, thank you again for being with us. And Mike, as we start with you, look, colleges and universities, wherever you go, are likely to have a diverse campus, uh, students of different nationalities, creeds, and religious beliefs. So can university leadership take a stance on political issues and social issues? Yes, in a very simple answer. Uh, college has always been the safety of freedom of speech. Uh, college universities is where activists and allies and advocates really hone in on their skills. I think nowadays when you work for an employer or you go to a college university, you want to make sure that the employer or university you go to sees you as a whole and there's safety on that college campus that while you're there. I think this is a failure of leadership on Harvard because of the fact those student groups can came out so quick and swiftly mm -hmm. with the Harvard name attached to it. I don't see why the president could not have issued a statement that it both supports Israel, Israel, supports Palestine, but they both have students at, while denouncing Hamas as a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. uh, they could have done that so that all students and alumni alike would have felt comfortable and proud of their alma mater taking that type of position. And Mick, let's take that safety concern to you. I mean, does this raise a safety concern on college campuses? Well, let's hope not. I mean, people should be able to speak and have the First Amendment right in the United States, whether on college campuses or in the town square. So hopefully nothing comes from that. I would say, although I usually I do stay out of the politics of uh, issues, I would say that the more this uh, is uh, pulled apart, it looks like Hamas was deliberately going after civilians. They, they went beyond, around uh, mm -hmm. IDF, and they went to try to kill civilians. And the level of depravity, I think it's going to set back the discussions on any kind of two slate solution a long period of time so hamas i agree with mike hamas is the issue here they need to be focused on they are they are a terrorist organization that it's almost superseded isis right now and you're hearing that from a lot of leaders of course and john uh, to you the debate over israel and the fate of the palestinians has been a divisive issue on colleges on college campuses before and of course that includes harvard it's been going on for decades uh, is there a political middle ground here that these universities could be finding well, the, I mean, the political ground is to have a, a respectful discourse. But when you yeah. uh, understand the backdrop of this conversation we're having, uh, children's head, children's were beheaded. Uh, individuals were set on fire alive. They took children as hostages. They mowed down hundreds of people at a concert. Uh, this is outside any norm of any sort of conduct uh, that anyone could deem acceptable. So I think Mike is right. You've got to be able to say, look, you have a right to express your views. But when you express your views, there are consequences. And I think Harvard really failed by not coming out strongly and condemning them, respecting their right to protest, but also saying you're dead wrong on this one. And that's unfortunate. Right. And Peely, to you, what kind of message does this send to students that come to the U.S. to further their education from across the globe? I think the role of universities and whether they should comment on issues like this or not is really what's at question here. Um, like several of the panelists said, like you have students from both sides. I do think the university should have been able to unequivocally say that what's happening in Israel is completely abhorrent, but that they, what we want at the end of the day is to, uh, to stop the killing of civilians everywhere. That's something that, for example, the president made clear in his speech, and that that is what, uh, what is at the core of the values of the university. But I think hopefully international students continue feeling safe coming into our universities uh, and, and are able to find places where, where their values align. Absolutely. Mike Muse, Mick Mulroy, John Katko, and Peely Tobar, thank you very much and stay with us, please. Coming up next here, the House of Representatives on the road to electing a new speaker. What went on today in the room, where it happened? We'll talk about that when we come back.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.